here i will talk about voltage divider rule see here we have two words first one is voltage and second one is divide that means we will have a voltage which will divide into some way so to determine how a total voltage will divide into a circuit we will apply a rule and that is voltage divider rule this voltage divider rule is applicable only in series circuit so what is voltage divider rule voltage divider rule is used to determine what portion of total voltage will drop across each of the resistor when several resistors are connected in series this is our voltage divider rule let me clarify this line look at this circuit here we are supplying in this circuit with a source of value v as this circuit is closed we will get a current i and we have three resistors r1 r2 and r3 okay now let me calculate the total resistance rt with respect to these two terminals see here rt will be equal to as the resistors are in series so we will get rt equal to r1 plus r2 plus r three now if i want to calculate the total current that is the source current in this circuit i will take i equal to total supply voltage divided by total resistance r t now what is this voltage divider rule see we are supplying with a voltage of v we have three resistors r1 r2 and r3 our voltage divider rule deals with that how what portion of this v will drop across this r1 what portion of this total supply voltage will drop across this r2 and what portion of this uh, what portion of this voltage v will drop across this r3 the rule that from which we can deduce that what portion of this voltage will be drop across this r1 this r2 and this r3 separately that rule is our voltage divider rule as this is a series circuit therefore this current i will remain same throughout the whole circuit now let's say the voltage that is dropped across this r1 is v1 as as current is entering from this direction this side will be positive this side will be negative the voltage drop across this the voltage drop across this r2 is v2 and its polarity will be this side will be positive this side will be negative as current is entering from this direction this side will be positive and this side will be negative and the voltage that is dropped across this r3 is our v3 now v1 is the voltage drop across this r1 what is this voltage drop across this r1 equal to v1 means you know that the amount of voltage is the amount of work we have to do to move a charge from one point to another point in a circuit see this is resistor r1 and here we are we are trying to flow the current i that means we are as the current is the flow of electron that means we are pushing the electron to go from here to here as this is a resistor when electrons gets into this when electron gets into this point we have to force or we have to do some work to get the electron from this position to this position and that work is our v1 and sa same case applicable is for this v2 that means we if we, we want to move an electron from this position to this position due to this resistance we have to do a work that is v2 and similar case is applicable in case of this r3 so if i want to calculate the voltage drop v1 across this r1 we have to know the current that is simple ohm's law here the current through this resistor is i and the value of resistor is r1 okay previously we i have calculated our total current i i equal to p divided by 
R T into R1 if I rearrange this term I can write R1 and here RT is the series of these three resistors R1 divided by series of the resistors R1 plus R2 plus R3 and we will multiply this fraction with total voltage V so this amount of voltage will be dropped across this R1 now if I want to calculate the voltage drop across R2 that is V2 we have to know the value of current and the value of resistor here resistor is R2 we know the value of current V divided by RT equal to into R2 here if I rearrange this term I can write R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 that means R2 divided by the series equivalent resistance of all the resistor into supply voltage V if I want to calculate this V3 I will take V3 equal to current through that resistor into the value of that resistor here we have current equal to V divided by RT into R3 that means our voltage will be equal to R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 into V see if we have total N resistor and we if we want to write this equation in case of Xth resistor we have to write the voltage drop across Xth resistor Vx equal to 1 by that Rxth resistor divided by the sum of resistors across R divided by the sum of resistor until Rx into the total supply voltage V see this is this indicates the series of the resistor so in brief I can write voltage divider rule as Rx divided by RT into total supply voltage V see here in all the voltage terms this V and R V divided by RT is common just we have to so this Vx equal to Rx divided by RT into V indicates our voltage divider rule from here we can, can conclude that the amount of voltage drop across a resistor is directly proportional to the value of that resistor so this is another statement of voltage divider rule the value of voltage drop across a resistor is directly proportional to the value of that resistor because in the circuit total resistance RT and supply voltage V is constant therefore we can conclu conclude the more the resistance the more the voltage drop or the more the voltage absor will be absorbed across that resistor in a series circuit now to clarify this final conclusion let me show you an example while concluding the voltage divider rule I also told you that in a series circuit the higher the value of the resistor the more voltage of the total voltage will be dropped across that resistor now with this math I will show you that see here we have three resistors R1 R2 and R3 2 ohm 3 ohm and 5 ohm and we are supplying with the voltage 10 volt let's say voltage drop across this R1 is V1 voltage drop across this R2 is V2 and voltage drop across this R3 is V3 now I want to I have to apply voltage divider rule that means Vx the voltage drop across 
एक्स्ट रेजिस्टर इज इक्वल टू दैट रेजिस्टर डिवाइडेड बाय द वैल्यू ऑफ टोटल सीरीज रेजिस्टर इनटू टोटल सप्लाई वोल्टेज भी टी ओके हेयर वी आई एम आई एम डिनोटिंग टोटल सप्लाई वोल्टेज विथ भी टी फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस हेयर वी हैव आर टी व्हाट इज आर टी आर टी इज द सीरीज रेजिस्टर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस टू terminals 2 ohm 3 ohm and 5 ohm all of them are in series so i i will just add them up 2 plus 3 plus 5 equal to 10 ohm and here we are supplying with total supply voltage vt equal to 10 volt now if i want to calculate the voltage drop across this r1 that means first element then our voltage divider rule will be equal to v1 equal to that value of resistor that means r1 divided by rt into total supply voltage v t see here r1 is equal to 2 ohm and rt is equal to 10 ohm and here we are supplying with total voltage 10 that means v1 will be equal to 2 volt v1 will be equal to 2 volt after that i will calculate v2 v2 will be equal to r2 divided by value value of voltage across x resistor v2 r2 divided by rt into vt here r2 will be 3 and total resistance 10 into 10 equal to 3 volt another so this v2 will be equal to 3 now I am left with only V3. What is V3? V3 will be equal to R3 divided by RT into total supply voltage VT. Here we have R3 is 5 ohm and total resistance is 10 ohm and total supply voltage is 10 volt. Therefore I will get 5 volt. See here we have V3 equal to 5 volt. Now justify my conclusion here we are supplying with total voltage of 10 volt and we get v voltage of 2 volt only across this r1 we get voltage of 3 volt only with across this r2 and 5 volt across this r3 and see r1 has only 2 ohm and it it is the the value of this resistor is the lower of all these three resistors therefore the lowest voltage will be dropped across this voltage across this resistor and this the value of this resistor is higher among all the resistors therefore it will drop the voltage the highest voltage will be dropped across this resistor this is also another con see this voltage we find and also see we find the voltage dropped separately across this resistor and this is how this is why we apply voltage divider rule to find out what portion of this total voltage will be dropped across several resistors when they are connected in series okay that's it thank you <laughs>